Here I am to talk about one of the most talked about items in the world at the moment, quinoa. I got this brand I bought in Peru, it's called Rope Oya. And I got this one here in my local supermarket, and it's called Inca Superfood. 12 ounces of Bellini. Quinoa, about triples in size once you cook it. Now let me tell you some of the health benefits of quinoa. Quinoa is probably one of the most complete superfoods out there. It has all the 11 essential amino acids, which most cereal grains do not have. Well, I just said cereal. It isn't a cereal. It's a seed. Seeds. You can use this to replace a carb in your meal, let's say rice, let's say potatoes, whatever. You could also use it to replace your meat, plus it's tasty. So if you want, you can just eat it like that in a salad, and you'll probably get a great meal out of this. Today, I'm just gonna be showing you how to cook this simply by itself. We're not gonna try to flavor it, not gonna put it as its own little dish, but I am gonna show you how to cook it because a lot of people do not know how to treat this product. And this is a really, really long list of things you need to cook quinoa. So pay close attention. Quinoa, a lot of water, and salt. <sighs> that list was long. Let's go. Okay, this is the most important step of making quinoa. The first thing you have to do, and have to do well, is rinse the quinoa. You gotta rinse away all the saponin. The saponin is the bitter layer of the quinoa that is naturally developed to protect itself from the predators, like birds. Uh, it's a seed. Of course, birds are the predator. Once the rinsing water comes out clear, you're ready to cook it. In a pot of a lot of boiling water, add a little bit of salt, and just throw in all your rinsed quinoa. The water does not have to be measured. It could be a lot of water with just any kind of amount of quinoa. We're going to treat this like it's pasta. That's the secret to quinoa. If you're going to steam quinoa, it's most likely that you're going to end up with a lot of burnt quinoa at the bottom of your pot. And we don't want that. Quinoa is expensive enough as it is. So we're going to make the most economical choice. And we're just going to treat it like it's pasta. Now when you're cooking it, you're probably going to see a froth at the top. Like how I got it right here. You're probably wondering what that is. That's the leftover saponin that stayed on the quinoa. I've had to rinse it a little bit more. Maybe it won't come out for you. But if it does, just do what I'm doing. Just try to ladle out all the froth from the top. I'm just trying to evade any bitter flavor whatsoever. If you don't seem to get all of it out, don't worry. You can just put in a little pinch of sugar and it'll balance out the bitterness. Now back to the cooking. I set my timer for only 7 minutes. Quinoa does take longer than this. But since there is a lot of water and I do not want overcooked quinoa, you never want that. I just made sure that I put the timer for a couple minutes early just to make sure how the quinoa is going. You never know, every kitchen stove top varies. Some are more powerful than others. Some might cook it a lot quicker, some might cook it a lot slower. As you can see, this is after five minutes. It's gonna be two more minutes before I really wanted to see how it was going. But it's quinoa, you know, it's better to be safe than sorry. The quinoa was still hard. I still had a lot of cooking left for it. So I'm just gonna let it boil through until the seven minutes are up. See how it goes. As you see, after 7 minutes, it's still not completely cooked, but we're close to it already. You can see that we're close already because the seed has inflated. And here we are, about 9 to 10 minutes of cooking the quinoa already. I had to take it out. It super, looks super flaky. I tried a little bit. It was already at the desired texture that I needed. So I was happy. I was like, alright. Now you have to continue treating this like it's pasta. How do you treat this like pasta? Run it through cold water. Shock the cooking process and make sure it does not overcook. So here I'm putting all my quinoa to a strainer. As you see all of it did not come out at the beginning so I had to run a little cold water into the pot and then push the rest of that through the strainer. I had to do this multiple times because I only have two hands and this is becoming a pain in the head. But eh, you gotta do what you gotta do. Plus I do not want to waste any quinoa. I just started this channel. I do not have a lot of money guys. So please, just bear with me. Just keep trying to get all that excess water off. Remember, quinoa will suck up any humidity whatsoever. And wow, just look at that. That looks super flaky. That's how quinoa should be, guys. Just super grainy and flaky. Very similar to like the love child of rice and couscous. It's amazing, man. If you have not tried quinoa, you will be in for a surprise. A lot of people are scared of trying it. But honestly, it's probably one of the greatest foods that I've ever tried. Like, look how grainy and flaky that is. That is amazing. I remember the first time I had this in Peru. It completely blew my mind. It opened up like a world of possibilities in my head. And I just loved it, man. 
Now let's go in for a taste, see how it tastes. Well, I hope you guys like that video on me cooking quinoa. As a lot of people say, they think it's super hard. People say that you have to cook it like rice because it's the closest thing to rice, it's a substitute for rice. Yes, it's a substitute, but there are tricks around that to make sure you get the perfect quinoa. See, look at mine, it's perfect, and it wasn't even a lot of calculating, it was just everything eyeballing. And I'm pretty sure that you guys can do it at home too with all these simple instructions. Now with this quinoa, you can make a bunch of different recipes. And I'm gonna show you a couple recipes in the next videos. Just hold on for that. I'll see you guys soon. Make sure to hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.